Originally stock, converted into a weekend camper van. Got 80,000 miles on it, original. It's got a 4.3 V6, all pretty stock. Didn't really have to do anything when I bought it. Just threw a new radi radiator in it, and some new plugs and wires, and called it good. Bought it for $1,500, which is a steal, I think. Especially because it's got the barn doors. Got the nice rocket box up top for storage. And the Thule racks. Pretty much for all my soft goods and stuff like that. Sleeping bags, backpacks. The big stuff, you know, keep them out of the interior. Make it nice and clean, lots of room. Got a bike rack on the other side of the rack there. Just picked up a back ladder, like a van ladder. I'm going to mount on the other side to make, be able to access the bike rack because it's pretty tall and I'm pretty short, so it's hard to get a bike up there. Got the uh, PVC pipe there for any fishing poles and uh, a couple hooks. You can throw up a tarp, on and out a tarp if it's gnar gnarly out and raining and all that. So the interior I did all myself. It was uh, originally just stock metal which is great because that's kind of the plan I I wanted see so yeah, I insulated all the walls the floors and the doors um, before putting up the quarter inch side panels here side panels all the panels have this nice warm felt on them which is actually really simple and turned out really well I just uh, cut the panels to fit before and just spray adhesive the, the felt on and screwed them in and it worked out pretty well. Pretty easy. I think it took an afternoon or so. I chose a nice low profile carpet um, with the mindset of just keeping it clean. Um, it's an indoor outdoor carpet so it'll be really easy to clean up any muddy boots or anything like that. And uh, it's directly onto the wood down below so any uh, liquids that get spilled or anything like that isn't going to soak into any soft goods and mold or anything like that so it's it's built with that in mind keeping it clean and basically just having it be a dirty spot as you can tell my newest addition and concept kitchenette i'm building here uh, it is a tv stand at the moment but it's mostly here just to occupy the space and give me a general idea of what I want in the future. It's really hard for me to conceive and to measure out and build something without having some sort of template first. So I threw this in here just to give me an idea of where I want everything to be and how things are going to function. So I'll kind of show you this right now. Basically it's just stock storage underneath of the two special. And the countertop up here which swivels out. We got a uh, marine seat bracket, swivel bracket under there. So this kind of poses as a table uh, and a cooking space, whatever you want to do. Sink, pretty straightforward. When I do rebuild, I'll install some sort of faucet in the corner there, either a hand pump, non-mechanical one, or a non-electric one or do an electric pump um, and just really ball out. This guy also swivels all the way around. That way you can um, you know, set up a laptop and lounge out and watch a movie or just have it as a side table if you need. Under here is just storage at the moment. So we got some silverware, coffee maker, inverter, just some daily, as like I said, this is just temporary. So like my gray water bin is a gallon jug of water. But in the future, this will be expanded and quite a bit bigger. So I'll be able to have room for not only useful utensils and storage, but also nice gray and clean water storage as well. This thing will just get junked. I'll use that as measurements, salvage the bracket, the swivel mount inside, and just rebuild it with nice veneered plywood stain it like I did most of the other interior wood like the bench seat so we'll move on to the bench in the couch position right now got a three inch high density foam mat on top which is pretty comfortable we got storage underneath it swivels up you can see the raw wood here and I stained all the wood black up top to kind of match everything else nice long piano hinges really add more stability to the function. Three 
relatively large storage bays. Now, to convert, it's quite simple. All you really do, get this out of the way, Got two hand holds here, slide that bay out. that folds out. The back moves up into an upright position to give a few more inches. And it's about the size of a twin, I think. It's about six feet long, so I think a twin might be a little bit longer, but I'm only 5'8", so. How it's mounted and everything, I got a piece of angle iron running this length here, 90 degree angle iron on both sides. Um, that actually vertical struts as well as screwed into the wheel well. So it's uh, pretty secure. So that gives a nice base for the bench seat. However, I will need to mount the wood into this angle iron. As of right now, it, uh, it is not mounted in there. So I can take it out really quick if I need room because I've been moving a bunch. So this whole unit actually is in three separate pieces. So it's really easy to take out. It's kind of the functional idea behind it is you know it, it doubles as a bench seat and a bed but within a matter of five minutes you can have it be a complete cargo van again that's kind of the idea about the whole van is that opposed to having it be a livable unit it's more of a weekend style camper van so it's, it functions as a daily driver you can get a group of people in here go to the beach what have you as well as stay the night or the weekend in a parking lot or at the campsite. So this is kind of the cargo area. So nice and room, roomy for a large tote or coolers or anything like that. When you hit the beach, you want to saute up some steaks or what have you. This folds down. Gives you a nice cooking surface. We got storage on either side. Box open. Store all your junk and wilderness books, plants, and all the shelving bottoms come out. So, including this one here, so you can access this bay down below where I keep my spare uh, my tools, you know, my car jack and all that kind of stuff, jumper cables. Or, if you had something long, I guess you could take out both and uh, see where you have access to this whole length. So you can stick it up in there. So it's on both sides. There's a clean shot of it without anything in here. Pretty basic. Got the speakers inset. Little four by sixes there. So in the future, depends on what direction I go. I like that it's a weekend style camper van. It uh, allows me to be very versatile. However, I do have aspirations to full time it, either while I'm in school or out of school. So if I do full time it, there'll have to be some more mo modifications done to make that more feasible. But, you know, I'm in school right now, and so ideally, if I do full-time it, uh, this would be the best time because I have access to the college campus pretty much at all hours. Um, bathrooms, showers, uh, Wi-Fi, and I can park relatively close to campus um, and use their Wi-Fi within my van. Um, I don't know about sleeping there, but... So a lot of the amenities would be satisfied while I'm in school. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm on a lease right now, but I still have some time left during school. I'm looking to take it on some pretty sweet trips this summer. Uh, it's kind of the idea behind it. It's a nice road trip van, a big V6. It's got uh, an overdrive gear, so it, it gets 